Image mosaics are heavily used in space exploration. In this section, we'll see how images are stitched together to create mosaics or panoramas. In this section, we'll continue working with multiple photos. However, instead of photos taken with a stationary camera, as with HDR imaging, our image mosaics will be stitched from photos taken from moving cameras. Image mosaics, or panoramas, are a very useful tool for generating very wide angle or high resolution photos. This photo of Mount Everest and the whole Himalayan mountain range is composed of multiple photos taken from the International Space Station. Mosaicing is extremely useful in space exploration. It is used for mapping the surface of celestial bodies like the Earth, Mars, and the Moon from satellite images, and also for creating wide-angle panoramas from exploration robots like the Mars rovers. Today, panoramic capture is a common feature in most digital cameras and smartphones and is becoming an important technology for virtual and augmented reality content capture and creation. Creating panoramas is all about stitching images. In order to be able to stitch images together, there must be an overlap between them. By properly aligning the overlapping region, the images can be stitched together. Given multiple photos, the panoramic stitching must find the overlapping regions and merge the images into one seamless panorama. In this example, multiple photos were taken by slowly turning the camera to capture a very wide field of view of almost 180 degrees horizontally. The resulting image is a cylindrical projection of the source photos. Converting a bunch of input images into a panorama is an involved process. The input images may not be sequential, so image pairs with overlapping regions must be found globally. Depending on the capture process, the overlapping regions may not match by simple overlay and require additional geometric correction. Camera settings may change between captures and introduce lens distortion and color and exposure differences between adjacent frames. Blending together such photos requires careful selection of scene positions and color and exposure correction. Different image warping models may be needed to generate a single 2D panorama image depending on the scene and motion of the camera. This diagram, taken from the OpenCV documentation, shows the OpenCV stitching pipeline. Each node represents a generic interface that can be configured and changed independently based on the application domain. OpenCV also provides a ready-made pre-constructed pipeline wrapper called Stitcher that is pre-configured with the two most common use cases. We'll see how to use and also customize it. When capturing multiple photos from a moving camera, both the camera motion and the topography of the scene will determine how to warp the separate images into a common coordinate space. Scanning a flat surface with a laterally moving camera is the simplest case where alignment consists mostly of 2D image translation, rotation and scale, and in general a planar transformation. This is because the image planes are mostly parallel to each other as can be seen in the top left diagram. This is a useful projection for mosaicing satellite photos for example. For a rotating camera, the image planes of each photo are at an angle to each other. Warping them all into a single planar image using a planar projection, as in the bottom left diagram, will tend to distort the images at the extremes, making it useful only for a relatively narrow field of view. However, this type of projection essentially simulates a very wide angle lens. For handling even larger camera rotation, up to the full 360 degrees, we can abandon the requirement for a 2D planar panorama and instead warp our images onto sections of a cylinder or a sphere. Viewing these panoramas as images shows a distorted image and is usually done with an interactive viewer that can undistort smaller windows onto the larger scene. This is common in street viewing mapping applications like Google Street View. OpenCV also supports additional warping schemes for minimizing distortions in very wide-angle panoramas. 